All right, you are still watching ways Dominican Republic Independence Day celebrated every year on February 27th. The first celebration was observed in 1844, and it has been almost two centuries since then. Now, the Dominican Republic was under Haiti rule for 22 years before the Independence War finally set them free. Um, so happy Independence Day to the Dominican Republic. Uh, we are praying for our own independence. <laughs> Even if we are independent, all boats, you know, no we're not, we're not we're not independent not from <laughs> from a lot of dramas. All right, so uh, let me start with Diola. What did you find for us in the news today? Well, now a big headline: Where wins electronic transmission? I mean, and this um, has to do with um, the uploading of um, results real time. I mean, from the polling units, um, from the elections that happened on Saturday. And, and it was quite obvious that um, there were a lot of issues with the technology part of um, the electoral process. And I mean, conversations around that is still ongoing as to the reservations of um, all the parties, you know, in terms of. Um, if it properly articulates um, the true state of um, the electoral process in terms of results and in terms of the people who came to vote and um, yeah, the results that was turned out. I mean, that's, that's really saying something. The B that was supposed to be the game changer, you know, in this um, election, but um, I mean, there's a whole lot happening on that end. So I'm sure that um, in this um, for today's topic, that these are some of the conversations that we would be having as part of the anomalies in this election. Oh, absolutely. Um, let me come to you, Chinelo. Okay. Um, Dino Milaye and others walk out of the coalition center today in Abuja. So Senator Dino, Dino Milaye, the spokesperson of the People's Democratic Party campaign organization, with some other party agents apparently walked out of the coalition center in Abuja today. I mean, when I saw this, I was like, I, I don't blame him, to be honest, because even me right there in my house watching them at the coalition center, I was quite upset. So I can imagine him being there and then seeing all of that happening. He claims that um, INEC has actually been compromised by <laughs> the APC, and he says that PDP is actually going to reject the presidential election results if care is not taken. So... Hmm. <sighs> Those are I think for interesting times. I'm telling you, the stories that are, we're going to be discussing is plenty. <laughs> Let's just move on. Yeah. <laughs> Norma, your story. <laughs> okay, so my story is about the Lagos police that have arrested at least 23 suspects for electoral offenses. So the story goes that um, 23 persons have been, who are suspected to be involved in electoral violence and other crimes were arrested during the presidential election that was just concluded on Saturday. And um, the spokesperson, uh, Benjamin Hyundai, confirmed these arrests. And they say that these numbers might increase as they are still collating some of the Suspects, I mean, we've not gotten all their data together, but so far 23 people have been arrested and uh, probably have been charged. And some of them are known to be hoodlums or unknown gunmen who have attacked polling units and disrupted the elections in some of the areas like Mafaluko and they also bond ballot papers. So the Commission of uh, Police has told the uh, press that uh, these were. About pocket violence here and there in Lagos and different parts. And um, well, we will continue to wait to hear from the police, but so far, a number of people have been arrested, and uh, I'm not sure if um, they're going to be charged, whatever, but we're yet to get further updates in that regard. All right, my story is um, Bola Tinubu, the All Progressive Congress presidential candidate, has asked Lagos residents to avoid any act of violence in the wake of his loss to Peter Obi in the presidential election that was held in the state. Now, according to him, Obi was declared the winner, of course, um, and he said that the fact that APC narrowly lost Lagos State to another party should not be a reason for violence as 
a Democrat, you win some and you lose some. You must allow the process to continue unhindered across the country while we maintain peace and decorum. That was what he was urging his followers because, again, there were pockets of reports that some um, violence uh, had erupted in some parts of Lagos affecting people of Igbo origin. Mm -hmm. Um, the, the reports um, said that some people were being attacked because they were of Igbo origin. Um, this story for me, you know, like I said, I said this election matter is <laughs> a bit, it's a bit, it's a, bit uh, it's a lot of mixed feelings for me because first of all, um, after voting in my own polling unit, I went to several polling units just to observe what was going on. Mm. And, you know, when I got to my, my sister's polling unit, you know, they did, my sister didn't cast a vote until 3.30 a.m. in the morning. So we had to stay there until 10.30 a.m. That was when we left that place, you know, because there were just too many things that went wrong. Um, so when, when I hear things like this, I just chuckle because we, I know the results that we saw on ground. They were a lot more than what we're seeing. And I don't know, maybe this, this is part of what we're discussing because there's a, there was just too many things that happened, mm -hmm. you know, that I would like to understand how do we correct this and what's the way forward from, a, from the position of an expert because mm -hmm. I don't know anything about politics. All I know is that, okay, I went out on Saturday, I put my thumb somewhere and I cast my vote and, you know, and only for me to check the INEC portal, I saw something differently being uploaded on the portal for my polling unit. At least that one I can say for my own polling unit. I don't know about any other yeah. polling unit. But hey, these are part of the conversations we're going to have with um, Kunle Lawal because that's why we're just, you know, brushing through the what's in the news so we can have the real conversation. Stay with us. We'll be right back.